Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to perform a 2x2 two two contingency table analysis, also known as a crosstabs analysis, or a Pearson chi-square analysis. This is basically an extension of a previous video I uploaded where I did a 2x1 contingency table analysis where I uh, examined handedness, left and right handedness, to determine whether there was a statistically significant greater number of right handers than left handers based on a sample of 250 people. Now this is the same data set that I've got all the way up to 250 uh, people but I've added another variable. In addition to handedness, left and right, I've also got uh, simulated data where people reported whether they were diagnosed with dyslexia or not. And the hypothesis is that there will be a greater or a disproportionately large number of individuals who are left-handed uh, and diagnosed with dyslexia. Stated alternatively, uh, it's basically the 2x2 two two contingency table analysis is really testing the hypothesis that there's an association between handedness and dyslexia. And in this case, left-handers are, uh, are um, labeled ones, they're inputted as ones, and the right-handers are, are inputted as zeros, uh, whereas in the, for the dyslexia variable, individuals with a 1 are individuals diagnosed with dyslexia, and those with zeros are individuals who uh, were not diagnosed with uh, dyslexia. So each row is a, is a case here. So this individual here uh, reported themselves as left-handed, and this person uh, also reported themselves as um, dyslexic, whereas down here, uh, we can see this person here, case 37, they reported themselves as right-handed and not diagnosed with dyslexia. So how can we test the hypothesis that there's an association between handedness and dyslexia? Well, we can go into Analyze, Descriptors, and Crosstabs, and I'll put handedness in the columns and dyslexia in the rows. It wouldn't matter which way you did it, but I've got a, a follow-up lecture on... on um, contingency table analysis, and that's how I inputted it into the table. So I'll do it uh, similarly in SPSS. Now for statistics, you, go, uh, you click on statistics, uh, you want the chi-square, uh, and you want the phi and Kramer's V. Those are the two main uh, options you would choose for a between groups contingency table analysis uh, in terms of output that you'd want. Now click continue, and click OK. Now the analysis is performed, and SPSS first tells us the uh, sample size and whether there's some missing data or not, and there's not in this case. And then we get uh, a table, the uh, crosstab uh, table, dyslexia by handedness cross tabulation, and we can see that in total there were 228 individuals that were right-handed and 22 that were left-handed. And then, if we go into, uh, oh, actually, if we go on this side, we can see that there are 240 people that were not dyslexic, and 10 people were report, did report themselves as dyslexic. And then within the table here, we have the, uh, off the uh, di diagonal elements of the um, table, and we can see that um, 223 people reported themselves as right-handed, and not dyslexic. All right, that's what that cell here means. And then five people here reported themselves as right-handed, and they in fact had dyslexia. Now, what the crosstabs is doing, and I encourage you to check out the lecture I have.